What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another comic book video. Today I'm going to be focusing my attention on some X-Men comics and sharing those with you. If you guys remember a while back, I did purchase over 2,000 comic books and I'm going through them slowly and sharing what I find with you guys on the channel as well. I purchased them to resell, but let's face it, you guys know I'm a collector. I love comic books, clearly. So some of it is gonna be staying in my personal collection. So mainly what I collect for myself whenever it comes to comic books is comics from the 80s, mainly Marvel, and that includes stuff like X-Men, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, and other stuff like that. And luckily, that's what we're dealing with today. Mainly, all of these are gonna be from the 80s, and they're all X-Men. So let's just get right into it. Up first, we have issue 190. That tells you how long X-Men has been around for. That is an amazing cover. I absolutely love this comic. It's a little bit older, but it's not beat up like you would assume a comic of that age would be. I believe that was 84. Next, we have issue 203. It almost looks like uh, an Elvis or something. Not 100% sure who that is, but that will be very interesting to read. We have issue 204. And that looks so cool. Um, it looks like they're in uh, Japan, something like that. It's based on the fonts here on the building, but that's a really cool comic. Now, I should mention that most of these are not boarded. They're all bagged, but if there's any that I'm keeping for myself, I'm likely going to board them and change the bag just to have something that is good in my collection, something that will last and not get any damage. Uh, we have issue 216. We have Wolverine over here in the corner. That's really cool. I like that. Absolutely love X-Men. You guys know this. 218. I'm not sure what's going on there, but definitely going to have to check this one out and give it a read. 219. Don't know what happened there. That kind of looks like Storm. Can't really tell. Face looks a little distorted. Definitely not Storm now that I uh, see it. 220. Very interesting stuff, absolutely love these. And they're all in really, really great condition. Uh, 223, that's cool. I like the uh, fangs there. That's gonna be an interesting one to read. This one has a nice classic car on the cover, 224. Absolutely love that, that's gonna be cool. 225. Colossus right there. Absolutely love that. I don't have many comics with him in it, so I love getting them where he's on the cover because that's really cool. And we have 227, The Fall of the Mutants. That's going to be a nice one to dive into. That one might have to stay in my collection. Now, I did pull out some X-Men for my personal collection. Not sure uh, when I'm going to show you guys what I'm keeping in my collection, but uh, that is really cool. We have uh, 228. There's a lot of doubles as well for the X-Men, so I'll be able to pull some from there and keep, and also sell the other ones. 229, huge battle scene here. You have Wolverine, uh, you have Colossus, Storm, that's cool. 230, this one's bagged and boarded. Some of them, actually, most of the ones left for this video are going to be bagged and boarded. That's really cool. Not all of them in the collection was. We have... 231, Colossus right there, 232, that's going to be really cool, I love the artwork of these, uh, this is 86, that's really cool, this one's not bagged and boarded, but that doesn't matter, 233, yeah, 233, wow, just throwing a car at Colossus. I'm not even sure what that is, what is going on for the story. So that's going to be really cool. 234, it kind of looks like whatever creature that was is taking over Wolverine. So definitely going to have to read some of these before I sell them and see what is going on. We have 236. Uh, I can't really see what it says here with the fonts. But that's really cool. We have 237. Logan is on a train. Uh, Logan and possibly Rogue. Um, all aboard the mutant train. That's going to be very interesting. I wonder if it's like a Holocaust scenario where they're trying to get all the mutants into one uh, 
Camp. That's what I guess, just looking at the cover and seeing that uh, name. Uh, 238, huge fight scene. It does look like soldiers they're fighting. So maybe I'm right. Gonna have to definitely find out. No spoilers, please. Uh, issue 239, we have Sinister. Cool. That's gonna be nice. Uh, 241. Ooh, sun, a sun for the Goblin Queen. Hmm. Honestly, not familiar with that, so I'm gonna have to check that one out. The originals are back, X Factor. 242. I like the purple. That just makes it pop. I like Beast. I don't think I have many with uh, Beast in it or Iceman. So that's definitely going to be interesting for me. Uh, 243. Huge fight scene happening. Going to have to find out why. Really, really cool. 245. Colossus looks shocked. Logan doesn't really care like normal. That's definitely going to be cool. They have all guns. It looks like tanks are uh, pointed at them. Very, very cool. And the last comic for today's video that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is issue 246. His name is slipping my mind right now. I'm not 100% sure. Hmm, comment down below who this is. Just slipping my mind for some reason right now. But uh, that is an amazing comic. So, like I mentioned, I do collect mainly from the 80s. Absolutely love these comics. These ones here, I think I've already gone through and pulled out the ones that I want to keep in my own personal collection. And there was some doubles that I will be keeping in my personal collection. But for the most part, these comics I will be selling. Now, in my area, people sell X-Men comics for around $5 each. I'm not going to do that. Likely, I'm going to sell them between $2 to $3. Likely $2 because that seems really fair. And that will let people know that's I want to move inventory. They don't know that I'm making profit even at $2 each, so they'll probably just start purchasing them. I might lot them together, all 50 together, or I might separate them and sell them individually, say $2 each, something like that. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be more comics to come. I have a lot more comics to go through. There's gonna be some more X-Men, some more Spider-Man, and a bunch of other stuff, including some of the most expensive comics that were included in this lot. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave this one here. Please take care. Peace.